Hello everyone, today we're back into some more Lumion Legacy PvP, and this person only has 5 Lumion. Although, we are showcasing Pluff. And yes, I'm serious, Pluff is OP. These sisters that I have on it, I have Poison, Dodge, Rejuvenate, and Venom Chomp. And these are the TPs, so the, this defensive set makes it so I have a plus 1 melee attack boost to Protagon. Health, give it health, 50 energy, makes it so I can use two poisons and two rejuvenates. And the 50 energy to outspeed Cephalops with no speed. So, yep, that's what it's used for. And it actually looks pretty solid in this match, although it is not going to be the... Actually, it's kind of rough in this match, but we're going to try it anyway. We're going to see if we can make something work out of it. I definitely don't want to bring Zulong. Zulong's actually kind of bad in this. I will bring Terra, though. Terra Claw is good. Let's lead off with the Pluff and see if we can get something poisoned right away. So let's see who he goes into. By the way, this is lagging. So, uh... There you go, we're in. And it's a Senamar's lead. So... We're just gonna leave with the Pluff right away. And we're gonna go for the big poison. Well, he has speed investment because he actually outspeeds me. And why is the game acting so weird? Like, as you can see, the bottom is, like, not loaded in. That's weird. But, anyway, I'm going to go for a dodge now. We're basically going to stall down the Cinemars. There you go. There's an Earthquake. I can definitely Rejuvenate. I could come in later and go for a Rejuvenate. So, I am going to swap out. I'm going to go into my Terra Claw, actually. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. The thing isn't loading in on the bottom. Like, the text look weird. I don't know why it's like that. But you know what? It doesn't matter. That's definitely hasty because it's actually dealing some solid damage. Although Poison is going to start bringing Cinemars down, which is awesome. Oh, I grabbed the wrong Terra Claw. I grabbed the Mud Splatter one from the Mud Splatter video. Oops. I did not mean to grab this one, but it's okay. It doesn't matter that much. I can go for rough up. I'm going to predict the swap into Tyrex. Tyrex comes in. Exactly. Tyrex comes in. I predicted it. We're going to go into our... Ooh. We're going to click Chartiki, actually. Actually, not thinking about it. I could actually stall out the Tyrex with Fluff. Yeah, it's a complete demo, and it missed. So if it goes for a complete demo... Oh, no, it's going to click Earthquake this time, because Unga Bunga, Unga Bunga, right? No, he just clicks complete demo. Interesting. Well, he loses his Tyrex. I don't know why he did that. Like, I obviously resist the move. I get it to the 100... Is it 150 damage complete demo does? But, yeah. I resist. So, Chartiki tanks it like a champ. Let's see what he goes into. He'll probably go back into the Cinemars, probably. Mutagon comes in. Okay, Mutagon comes in. I'm going to go for a Muck Blast. Yep, we're going to go for a Muck Blast. I think the only way I can really come back in is on the Valkyrie. Nice damage. Telekinetic. I love it because Chartiki's a beast. Yeah, I think the only way I can ever, I can really come back in on the with Fluff is if his Valkyrie comes in. I gotta have his Valkyrie come in. So it looks like he has two tank users, which is interesting. Actually, it can come in on the Dyborg. I can come in on the Dyborg, actually. I'm just gonna stay in and attack the Dyborg, because this thing is scary. I want to deal as much chip damage to this thing as I can. It's probably gonna tank. Or not. Wow. Chartiki putting in some work here. I gotta get a rejuvenate off of my pluff, though. Just not sure when, though. Because Cinemar is just quite scary. There's the Falkyrie. Can Falkyrie even do damage to me? I have no idea. Because I don't want to go into my pluff right away. I'm just gonna go for my Blast. I outspeed his Falkyrie. Interesting. A lot of energy. And he has Cyclone Slam. So that will actually take me out, I think. Oh my goodness, it didn't even take me out. I gotta rest, though, anyway. So, I am gonna actually have a shot to go back into my Pluff. So, that's good. Why is it Holy Slash in? 
Take me out, Valkyrie. Take me out. I want to go to my flaw. There we go. It took me out. Thank you, Falkyrie. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to go into Pluff. Pluff can come in. And I'm actually going to go for a Rejuvenate because I kind of need to. I'm kind of running out of options here. I'm kind of too low on health. But for Luster Loot, I should live that. Even if it is Valkyrie. Oh my goodness, I easily live that. Yep, there it is. We're going to go for a Poison on the Valkyrie. We're going to try to poison this Valkyrie. He stays in, goes for another Luster Loot. Poison's going to start stalling him down. That's a critical hit, but that's fine. Because I hit the Poison. Here we are. And actually, his Valkyrie's about to run out of energy, so I actually am going to go for the rest. Because I think I could live two hits. He actually just swapped. Did he go into his Centimars? Okay, the Centimars comes back in. I get a free rest. He takes a tick of poison. I go for the dodge. Dodge the centimars. Yep. Basically what you do with Pluff is you poison stall. You could also run icicle traps. That's also another option. And that honestly might actually he might be out of energy. I'm actually gonna go for a rejuvenate here, because I think he's out of energy. He has to go for a rest. Yep, he does go for a rest. So I can actually go for a rejuvenate here and go back to full health. So that's big. And his Centimars get stalled down a little bit more. We're going to go for Dodge. That will. I don't think that takes out the Centimars, though. Let's see, though. It is Toxic Poison. Oh, not quite. I could try to go for the Double Dodge, but there's no reason to when I have Terra Claw. So yeah, we're just going to go into that. He actually just swapped Mutagon? Oh, he went into Mutagon. And you know what's unfortunate? I would usually have Mud Splatter. Not Mud Splatter. I would usually have Painful Bash, but this is the wrong Terra Claw, so I don't have that move on it. I have Mud Splatter instead, because I was using this for the meme video. Should I just use Mud Splatter for the memes? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to use Mud Splatter for the memes. By the way, I know it's not Mud Splatter, it's Mud Spatter, but it just, I don't know why. Mud Splatter just doesn't sound right. Mud Splatter sounds way better. Like, come on. Mud Splatter... I don't know. It just seems more right. Actually, I can go into Pluff here. Even with Telekinetic, I can go into Pluff and actually Poison Stall this. As weird as this sounds, Mega Punch, I will resist. He gets damage from Sharp Edges. I go for another Poison. I actually outspeed the Mutagon, so he's sluggish. So yeah, he's definitely not TP trained on his Mutagon. Telekinetic. Did some solid damage. Not a lot, though. We're gonna go and swap out. Now, all everyone on this team is poisoned. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for the dodge first. I'm gonna go for the dodge first. Telekinetic Sweet. Pretty much is out of energy now. Mutagon's looking very good here. I'm actually, I'm gonna go into it. Even though... Wrestling is weak to Mutagon. It actually does look good here for the late game. It can come in and clean up. So even though I'm going to get like this... Well, it's gonna, I'm going to get hit by that if I get crit it. But you know what? That's fine. It's actually out of energy. I'm just going to go for an attack, though, because I do not want him to go flailing. Falkyrie comes back in. Well, Falkyrie's dead, so that's big. Falkyrie goes down. And the rest of his Lumians go down the poison. So, Pluff did pretty good in the first battle. He's not against the best team, to be fair, but Pluff poisoned all the Lumians and did very well in this battle. He could just flail, to be fair. Let's see if he does. I'm going to go for Bulk Up to see if he actually does flail or not. He actually did flail. Wow, he flailed. He... <laughs> He actually brawn boosted. Wow, he actually brawn boosted. I didn't go for another bulk up, because why not? There's really no reason to. Well, he loses Mutagon to poison. So yeah, I'm going up to plus two. And I know, yeah, it, it, it was pretty much an unnecessary setup, but still. I was just seeing if I could get Prof back in, but nope. There goes the Cinemars. Cinemars goes down to poison. Blade Punch, and that will be a GG.
Let's head on to the second round with my Pluff. Alright, we're into the second battle with Pluff. And, ooh, this is a nice team to use it against. Wendelin is scary. Seer Knight, I can use this against. I can use it against Seer Knight, which is awesome. Revenite's scary, but I can use it against this. Oxy Drake, that's trouble. Oxy Drake's a lot of trouble. And I gotta bring you for this thing, because the meatball is actually very rough. So, yeah, we're gonna go and lead off with the Pluff. And see if I can get a good lead. Wendelin isn't necessarily the best lead in the world. But with that being said, it does have melee attacks, meaning that it should flinch itself. Well, not flinch itself, it'll flinch me, but it should actually take sharp edges. So, I'm down with that. Nice. So, Kambunga Coffee Windling, too. That's interesting. I'm going to go for a Rejuvenate. Because, I don't know, I just feel like I'm going to get flinched down. Takes more damage from Sharp Edges. And I got Daze. Please. Okay, I got Rejuvenate. I'm just going to swap. I am not going to risk myself. I'm not going to risk myself getting flinched again. So, I'm actually just going to swap into my to clip. I just don't want it to click Body Slam out of the radar. Okay, just went adaptive. That's good. I'm fine with that. We're going to go with the Gluminous Roar. I think Wendelin outspeeds the clip. I'm going for Gloom Roar. Oh, no. Okay. He's probably very brawny, then. He's probably very brawny. Got a critical hit. But I got the KO. Who does he go into? I would go into Seer Knight if I was him. Yeah, Seer Knight. Yeah, I have one swap. <laughs> Pluff. Pluff's basically been one swap. Let's do it. Starting Steel is going to be the move. How much will this do to me? Let's see. Whoa. That did almost nothing. Wow, that did almost nothing. And keep in mind, Starting Steel actually makes... Starting Steel actually makes it neutral against Water types. Well, that's an even worse move on his part, because I actually resist that move. And it didn't hurt for the sharp edges, which is just awesome. I don't know why a fire slam. I guess so you don't miss a flaming kick, because trust me, I hate it when flaming kick misses. Flaming kick, but that chance to miss just immediately makes it so much worse. Start steal, more sharp edges, and I get a rejuvenate off. It's scary, though, because I could actually get burned, which is something I do not really like to get burned on a plot. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to be clicking Venom Chomp that much anyway, but still, it's just, you know, it's not really nice. Starting Steel's going to hit pretty solidly here, though. But again, he's getting hit by the sharp edges. If I go for another Rejuvenate... Actually, no, I'm just going to go for a Dodge. I'm going to go for a Dodge, because he's going to go down to Poison. So, I'm just going to go for the dodge, he misses Stirring Steel, and he goes down to Poison. And now I can use a Poison and a Rejuvenate instead of having only 72 energy while at full health. So, I feel like that's better. Oxy Drake is scary, Oxy Drake is scary, but we poisoned! We basically just poisoned. There we go. How much could he do? An Outburst. Ow! I actually did some okay damage. Can I live another one? I can actually use a dodge and then a rejuvenate. So that will be actually what I do. I'm actually going to go for a dodge first. That will make him use an outburst. So now his outburst won't do that much damage. And I can actually live and go for a rejuvenate. Which will be what I do. He clicked Driving Force. He clicked Driving Force. Oh no, he didn't. Actually, I don't feed him. Okay, I outspeed him. Or do we speed tie? Do we speed tie each other? Well, I'm not going to do that much. I'm actually just going to go for rest. There we go. We're going to go for rest. We can go for a rejuvenate. Yeah, I'll burst is barely doing any damage now. Which is just absurd. And the poison is gradually taking it out. We're going to go for another rejuvenate because my health is kind of way too low to really do anything. He rests. His oxygen goes down. I get a free Rejuvenate, and Pluff is just balling out right now. 
Is that already three KOs from the fuck? No, Cliff's got one. He has two more left. What is his last two? Pausing your... Oh, this is one of them that I actually really want to get poisoned. Actually, he does actually hit me with Echo Blast if he has it. I miss poison like the most crucial time. Oh, it's a melee attacking one! Wait a minute. It didn't... It didn't take sharp edges. What? It didn't actually take sharp edges. So yeah, it probably isn't crit. Yay, so fun critical hit. I gotta swap. I, I kinda am forced to swap. I will go for dodge first, though. I will go for dodge first and just stall out the poison. I just don't want him to set up peace of mind. I'm shocked that he's just not setting up peace of mind. It's kind of shocking me a bit. I'm going to go for a wait. Give me 72 energy. That's not even close to enough. Rip, that's not even close to enough. Yeah, I can even get a rejuvenate off. All I can really do is do one more poison. So I am actually just going to go for the dodge. Yeah, I'm going to go for the dodge. Stall down a bit of his energy. There we go. The Cosmere is actually gradually going down. If it doesn't have slumber, it should. It should have slumber, though. That's the thing. It probably use it now, honestly. So it doesn't go down. And again, it is against a flaw. It actually just goes for another slash move. Okay. Yeah, this meatball is going to be completely destroyed by poison. We're going to go for Gloomeroar. That will take out the Cosmere. And what is his last Lumion? Can I use the plus against his last Lumion? It already showed what it needed to do, though. Mutagon. Okay, yeah, I can't really do anything against Mutagon. But you know what? I'll actually just... I'll actually attempt, though. If my Eclipse gets taken out by the Mutagon, I will actually make an attempt. And But it looks like it won't. Eclipse will get the win. And that will be game over. So, yeah. Plus. It did amazing in this match, actually. So will be a GG. And Pluff absolutely dominated in that match. Unfortunately, I did not get the best people to battle today. It is late at night when I'm recording this. So there are not many people at the Coliseum at the moment. So I've been server copying a lot. But I finally found a couple good battles. And Pluff did really well in those battles. So, yeah. It defeated three Lumians in the second battle, and then in the first battle, did very well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle with Pluff, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!